Thomas and Kiman, welcome. This is a bit unusual. You have to tell me why do you wear these black bags on your heads? Uh, we're wearing these black bags because uh, as Daft Punk we're not showing our faces in pictures or television. But why did you guys choose to go this way? To not show your faces in public? Um, I think uh, it was just uh, an idea to come up with a, a, a different approach creatively and to create a universe, a visual universe and, and giving something else. So we. We started to, to you know, use images of robots and we thought that it was interesting to separate uh, the, the physical image and with the, the creation and that's really why we wanted to, to try to do things differently like that and also keep being anonymous was something that we, we, we found was interesting. Okay. Your music, uh, what I guess people would call is electronic dance music. Uh, what inspired you to go into that kind of music? It was just a, 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 an interesting creative environment originally that we that we met or found uh, being a, a, you know, teenagers in, in Paris, in France. Gimon, I just want to make sure, are you getting enough air in there? Are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sure I'm okay. <laughs> uh, but you're here to promote your movie, Electroma. Yeah. Yes. What is that about? Uh, this movie is our first uh, feature film. It's an experimental film about uh, uh, two robots that are trying to become human. Uh, it's a kind of a road movie. Um, it's hard to speak about it also because it's, it's a silent film. There is no, no dialogue, so it's, it's closer maybe to a painting than, than, than a traditional film. Mm -hmm. But how did it come about that you went into filmmaking? We've been wanting for a long time. Da Daft Punk has been like an opportunity for us, a creative opportunity or a vector to, to work around different media and, and different art forms. Uh, we've been making an animation film in Japan for four years, a few years ago, and uh, we've been making furniture also with uh, the company Habitat in Europe. And we've been always been interested in, in, in creating and obviously film is probably the, the ultimate form of creation as it combines sound and images and teamwork also which is really different from just being the two of us in a studio or at home making music so we, we really uh, cherish and, and respect creation in all forms and filmmaking has always been uh, I think as it is for many people fantasy and an ultimate way of, of, of creation. Is it never strange for you to do interviews with these bags on your hats? It's, it's really strange. It's very <laughs> strange. It's, it's the first time. The first time. And, uh, and these, these bags, it's not our ideas. It's definitely, you know, your ideas. But you usually protest. have masks. Yeah. Yes, but we don't do interviews usually. So, you know, we sometimes when we do interviews, most of the time, uh, we, f you know, we find uh, creative ways to appear uh, on TV, but uh, here it was definitely the first time and maybe the last time that we'll be doing interviews. <laughs> but with but can people ever expect to see your faces? Uh, it's no, no, I, I, no, no, they shouldn't expect it. I think it's it's. It's like when I read a book, uh, I, don't, I don't care to see the, the face of the person that wrote it. I think it's interesting and we're not really uh, against uh, the, the, the cult of personality or I think an interaction with, with faces in the media. And the whole point was just the ability to have a choice, to wanting to be famous or not. I think we live today in a, in a, in a society where it's, it's all about uh, having your face on TV. Obviously, today is an example that maybe that's not what a fantasy is. You know, even though it's really a, also a difference between between fiction and and, and, and reality. You know, and uh, and uh, so that that that's that, that's it. Thomas and Kiman, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you.